Morro Bay, 805 webcams, beautiful clear skies today. South Coast time lapse, just a few cumulus clouds here on top of the ridge. Gets warm up here, the cold air above it is so cold we actually get a little bit of condensation but we just don't have excuse me any moisture in the atmosphere take a look at some of the dew points just 34 for the south coast 59 as we look at the riviera san luis obispo 61 north winds 10 but the dew point is 22 degrees meaning if we could instantly cool the atmosphere right now with the current pressure we'd have to get the temperatures down into the 20s to get anything in the way of condensation to happen. Avila Beach 61 with the dew point of 24. So as a result, not surprising that those morning lows really cold. Paso Robles just 24 this morning, 28 at Santinez, 35 in San Luis Obispo with plenty of sunshine. Yeah, we move those temperatures back up into the 60s. I think tomorrow's temperature performance pretty similar. We were able to drop the wind advisory. However, we still have significant winds across California, more offshore flow. We will see offshore flow in San Luis Obispo County up to 15 to 25 miles per hour again. Look at the dry air just eating away at the cloud deck and pushing it out. Interior Valley starting in the 20s again, back up into the 60s. Coastal Valley starting a little warmer thanks to the offshore flow, 30s and 40s back up into the middle 60s. West facing beaches back into the lower 60s after starting in the 30s and for us on the south coast starting in the 40s and topping in the 60s in the afternoon. Here's what's happening. Big ridge of high pressure in here. What's interesting, we do have a couple of features here that work across the ridge. This upper low moves out here and cuts off from the main jet stream. However, air goes from high pressure to low pressure. That's actually going to encourage more offshore flow. And then we get a secondary one coming in here for the weekend. All offshore flow, meaning dry, warm. Not only 70s returning in my forecast, but mid 70s early next week. That ice storm you were talking about and the air travel problems, this is where the system is right now. It's in northern Arkansas, St. Louis. It's going to move into Memphis, Columbus. This is that icing. This is the real problem area. Now to the south, heavier rain. To the north, heavier snow, including Buffalo, Montreal, and a series of storms actually have to work along this temperature boundary. So yeah, from Texas all the way up into the northeast, flight issues, travel issues are going to abound. But here, just nothing going on. We've got temperatures in the 30s and 40s overnight at the coast and 20s in the interior. Again, the recovery is not bad because of plenty of sunshine. We'll see mostly 60s for daytime highs. Again, the extended forecast shows significant warming once we get into Sunday and Monday of this upcoming forecast. But the five cities back into the mid 60s, Santinez Valley starting in the 20s, still recovering into the 60s. But a few places like Cuyama may only see highs in the 50s. Look at that forecast Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Gosh, could we see 80 degrees on Wednesday? It's not out of the realm of possibility. We're back after this.